Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had something in my mind for a good little minute. Um, I had this concept about relationships recently. It was something I was talking to my husband about. Um, based on how people treat relationships. So basically, I uh, came up with this thing and I said, that, or I had this thought in my head and I, I had to write it down because I was like, oh wow, that's good. That's a good one. It's a good analogy. So I wrote it down um, last month actually. <laughs> so I basically wrote, um, people treat relationships like kids with new toys. As soon as the battery runs out, instead of fixing it, they run to the next thing. And, um, like I said, we were having a regular conversation about relationships, and for some reason that just, that idea just hit me, and I was like, oh wow, that's good, that's a good one. I need to use that, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it's true. Y'all know it's true. You know, as adults, you get so tired of life sometimes, you get tired of the same old, same old, that you end up chasing something that might not be for you. Um... In this case, I'm talking about relationships. Now, you might be with somebody already. You might be, um, like, you guys might be okay. You might be in a marriage or a very, very committed relationship. And, you know, you have your problems. Everybody has problems. Every relationship has issues. Every couple has some kind of issue. You know, ain't nothing ever perfect. Just know that. Ain't nothing ever perfect. But what people tend to do more... A lot these days is they just run from the problem now that's always been the case but it's really really easy to run more now because social social media of course social media makes it easy to cheat it makes it easy to find more people it makes it easy to you know get in contact with more people to potentially cheat cheat on your spouse with so it's just I don't like how people don't They'd rather run to something else than fix the relationship they're in. Now, I'm not talking about polyamorous people. I'm not talking about people who have a heart to be poly. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who are strictly monogamous. And they just, they act like they're so tired of their partner and that they want a change. They want to, they don't want to work on the, the issues with their partner. They just fake like everything's fine. And they don't want to work on the issues. They're not open with their partner. They don't tell their partner hardly anything. And yet they go behind their back and cheat because they want something new. New relationship energy, that's an actual thing, you know, that's the actual acronym. Yeah, NRE is it's, it's a real thing. <laughs> people get dopamine rushes off of meeting new people, you know, just like we get dopamine rushes off of anything else new a new movie, a new song, a new picture, a new whatever. We get dopamine rushes off of everything new that we see because we're just humans and that's just what happens and there's so many dopamine rushes out there aka new people there's so many new interesting people to meet there's opportunities or it looks like there's opportunities with those new people and we chase that and we as humans we chase those small dopamine rushes whether they be harmful or not harmful we chase them too much and we don't pay attention to what could potentially happen if we keep chasing them so, like I said in the beginning, um, people treat relationships like, you know, it's a child with a toy. You know how when your kid has a toy and the battery runs out, and um, if they don't come to you and tell you the battery's out, like, oh, can you put a new battery in? What are they going to do? They're going to throw it to the side and pick up something else. That's just the easiest analogy to, to look at. You know, you're going to get tired of the broken toy because... It's not actually broken, you know, you just need to revive it. You need to charge it. Put a new battery in it, it'll be working just fine. But instead, the child is going to throw the toy down and go grab a new one. We act the same way in relationships. You know, same as that way. A lot of adults, we do that because life can get, you know, dull and redundant. So we just toss the other person aside, not on purpose. A lot of times it's not on purpose. It just kind of happens that way. Because again, the, the monotony of life, and you go chasing after this new person, this new relationship, this new energy, without working on fixing the old one. 
And that's real bad for monogamous people because monogamous people, well, they're monogamous. <laughs> If you're monogamous you're not going to try to date two people so if you're not putting any energy into your first relationship then you're going to be putting the energy you're supposed to put into that relationship into the second one and that's where it gets bad that's where it gets really bad because it's like ooh, new 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 and you're not being you're not open with your spouse you're not communicating you're not doing any of that you just go and rush off of you know the dopamine that you're feeling for this new person and you just keep running head first into it <laughs> so that's just what we do and I kind of want to talk about that to um just let y'all be aware of that just be aware of what you're getting into as far as new relationships even friendships just be wise um don't just rush into something because it's new don't rush too far into something because you never know what's gonna happen to you you never know um how messed up you can get behind rushing into things I've done that in the past I've rushed with so many people I've rushed into friendships I've rushed into potential relationships it always ended up bad but with me at least it wasn't like so bad to where you know I went out and did something with the person that I shouldn't have done or I met the person and now we have a bad relationship and now I can't see them ever again it was never like that it's usually online based because my relationships um are still usually online based because I'm a stay-home mom and I meet a lot of people online so I had met a lot of people and the relationships never lasted so it was just with me being polyamorous it's still a little complicated because trying to find someone new to add to, to add along to your spouse or someone to potentially add along to your spouse can also be kind of rough so you gotta kind of just find that balance you know but don't be like a child who throws away the old toy just because they don't feel like putting the battery in or they don't feel like asking for a battery, you know? You gotta insert that battery. It's not gonna revive itself. It's not gonna start working again. It's not going to revitalize itself. You gotta put work into it. Like a child. The child wants the battery, they have to tell the parents. They have to let the parents know, this toy is dead, I need a battery. Let's, let's fix it. So in relationships, it's the same thing. You guys need to work on what you have before you pursue something new and you better be honest with your spouse about it because that's going just that's, that's just going to end up bad <laughs> y'all know that's going to end up bad so just be honest always be honest with i mean honest in your relationships so it is what it is i just wanted to talk tell y'all that today i hope you guys enjoyed that little analogy and take it to heart because yeah We've got to work on not falling for every dopamine rush there is, you know? There's just there's too many highs out there that'll fuck you up if you're not careful. So, just be aware. Don't be that greedy child looking at the toy, tossing it to the side because, like I said, you don't, you're just being lazy. Don't feel like putting the work in. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope y'all are having a great day. Second week. Why do I always say that? You know, I got that from somebody. I got that idea from another YouTuber. Um, my YouTube, my other YouTube friend. Um, I need to link his channel in my description. I think I got that idea from him because he does that. <laughs> so if y'all want, y'all can go check him out. Um, I think his channel is called Rogue Catnip, I believe. Um, me and him were kind of like online friends for probably, I don't even know, it's been a while. So, anyway, I hope you guys are feeling great and, um, I hope y'all staying hydrated because it's hella hot out here. And, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.